so the next component which i am going to talk about will be the buttons so what are the buttons so buttons are used to add the button onto the web page so it is as simple as that as per the name suggests so they are just used to add the buttons onto the web page and we have different type of predefined styles which are available inside the material ui so you can use these styles by defining the variant component as we have defined inside the typography so you can just use the variant property and you will have the access of different predefined styles which are already defined inside the material ui so let's see about the buttons inside the material ui documentation so you have to search for the button and then the button page will appear so then you can see buttons allows users to take actions and make choices with a single tap and you can see buttons communicate actions that user can take like you can have a modal windows the forms the cards the toolbars and much more so now you can see we have a basic button so these are three type of buttons that are available predefined inside the material ui you can see we have a text and it is just a text based button so you cannot see the button until you hover over it then you can see and then you can see now we have the contain and then you can see the contain is filled with a border and with the blue background color and then you can see the outline where we just have the outline beyond the button and then you can see we have to define the variant of the text or contain or the outline and now you can see the text button can have a primary it can have a disabled it can have a link as well so you have to define all of the things like you can see if you want to add it to the disabled you can just add a disabled equals to the two or you can just add a disabled also and then if you want a link you can just add a href to the button and then you can see we have a contain button as well and now you can see we have a handling click so button accepts all of the handling events which are available inside the html button like we have the on click we have the on mouse over we have the on mouse center and all of the properties and all of the events are now also supported in the material ui as well so you can just use that and it is very simple to use like you can see we have just defined a button component and then we have just defined the on click and then we can see we have a callback function of the alert and then it is clicked and if you want to see the demo of it then you can just go to the code sandbox and then you can just play your demo as well and then you can see then we have the color you can see we have the secondary color we have the success color we have the error colors so these are the colors which are already defined not inside the buttons but inside the theme of the material ui you can just access the theme component of the material ui which we have the default theme i think inside the material ui so you can just define the color like primary we have a secondary we have a success we have a warning we have an error and then we have a info so these are the colors which are available and then you can see we have a sizes prop also inside the button you can see for larger or smaller buttons you can just use the size prop like you can just use size equals to the small button will look like this medium will be a little bit bigger and the large will be a little bit bigger even more and then you can see all of the buttons are there and then you can just add the camera icons inside the buttons you can just add the upload icon inside the button and so many things so now let's start about the buttons so now we will move on to the visual studio code and there instead of this typography now we will import the button from the material ui and then we have to remove this typography from now now we can just add a button like we can just add a button and then we can just add a first so this is the first button and then we can just copy and paste another button there so now we have three buttons this is second button and then this is the third button so if you will just now save now you can just move on to the browser to see the changes onto the web page now you can see now you have the first you have the second and then you have the third button inside the web page so these are the buttons which are available inside the material ui and then as we have discussed we can just add a variant like we can just define a variant property and then about the variant property also we have some properties of the buttons like first we have a variant which is most important property and then we have a styles like outlined contained and text and then you have additional properties also like on click handling the events of the javascript and then we have a type you want to add a type of the button as a as just only a button or a link or you can just add a type equals to the submit if you are using with a form and so much and then you can just have a sx prop also where you can just define some css styles manually so you can just move on and then you can just define a variant and the first variant would be the outlined or it will be the contained and the second variant we can just define will be equals to the outline and the third variant which we will define will be the text we can just define a variant equals to the text 
so if you will just save if you will just move on to this browser once again now you can see now you have the first button you have the second button and then you have the third button also and then you can just define a size prop also of the buttons as we have seen there so size would be the we can just control space and then we can see the available size like you can see we have the large and then we can just have a size prop inside the second button also so there we have the size equals to the large and we will change it to the medium and there we will change it to the small so we can just save and then we can just see the changes onto the screen like you can see this is the biggest button and then we have the second biggest button and then we have the smallest button of the third and then as we have discussed about the sx prop also so we can just define a sx prop here so it can be the sx and then we can just define a margin and then margin will be the three here and then we can just define the same here as well inside the button two and inside the button three as well and then you will see there will be the margin between all of the three buttons now you can see now we have the first second third buttons and we have the margin between all of the buttons and then you can just add the color as well to the button prop like you can just add a color as we have defined so it would be the success and then the color here would be equals to the we can just have a color like we can just have a error and then we can just have a color would be equals to the info so these are the three colors which are available now if i will now save now you can see we have the first color which is the green color we have the second which is the primary color and then we have a third the info color inside the material ui and now we have defined the colors and now the only thing which is remaining which we can check is the on click property so we can just add a on click so it handles the click events also like you can see like on ox click on double click as well so we can just add a on click and then inside this we can just have a event or we can just have a callback function in which we will just alert like button click so we can just have a same onto the all of the buttons here also and the here also so this will be the final code and if i will now save now you can see once i will click on the first button click the second button click and then third button click so these are all about the buttons inside the material ui and you can just learn more about the buttons inside the material ui block page inside the buttons and, and there you will see a lot of things inside the button api and then you can see we have the icon button as well but we will study about it later because it is of no use to start from there from at the beginning and then you can see you have a customization prop and then you can just customize your buttons and then you can see you have a loading button as well inside the material ui so you can just access the loading button as well and then you have the complex button so you can just add a complex buttons here and these are just predefined styles or you can just define your own styles also and then we have the third party routing library also so you can use that and then you can see all of the things are available and then the base component of the button is the button base so you can just click on the button base and then you will access all of the properties and props of the button like the center ripple children classes component disable disable the and all of the properties and all of the elements so these are all about the buttons